Let's start with inflammation. As we get older, chronic aches and pains can begin to accumulate in the body. Inflammation is an important part of the healing process, but the chronic, unresolved inflammation associated with aging is definitely not beneficial. Chronic inflammation has also been associated with disease conditions, ranging from Alzheimer's and MS to heart disease and strokes. Clearly, inflammation is a problem that needs a solution. Unfortunately, many of the anti-inflammatory drugs used in the past have had disastrous side effects that have only shown up years later after their initial introduction. This is because pharmaceutical drugs work by overriding the body's natural biochemical pathways. All the pathways in the body are interconnected, and by manipulating one, you always inadvertently apply pressure to others. You can do this in the short run, but over time, it can cause problems. Current examples of this include the terrible side effects found with Vioxx and Celebrex, including increased risk of heart attacks, strokes, and blood clots. The only way we can be sure of avoiding unforeseen side effects is to work with nature, not against it. In nature, the inflammation pathway is controlled through the fats and oils in our diet. Certain oils and fats increase inflammation and others decrease it. Luckily, nature has supplied us with the saw palmetto plant. Saw palmetto oil works by inhibiting the same lipoxygenase and cyclooxygenase inflammation pathways that the pharmaceutical drugs do, but it does so in a manner that nature intended and is familiar with, that is, through dietary oils. Let's move on to circulation problems. In dealing with circulatory problems, there are two main issues to address, and they are blood viscosity and plaque. Blood viscosity refers to how thick the blood is, how prone it is to forming clots. We need our blood to clot to prevent us from bleeding to death from injuries. But when the blood becomes too thick, clots begin to form inside the body in the arteries and in the veins. These clots can decrease the flow of blood, leading to fatigue if they are small and strokes and heart attacks if they are large. Fortunately, saw palmetto in general and beta-cetosterol in particular both inhibit platelet aggregation, which is what causes the blood to clot. Let's look at the second issue raised, that of plaque. Plaque are the blockages that grow inside the arteries obstructing blood flow. Scientific studies have shown that beta-cetosterol supports the removal of fat directly out of arterial plaque. Many people think that all they need to do to take care of their circulation is to keep their cholesterol low. The truth is, it isn't the fat in the bloodstream that causes the problem, but rather the fat in the plaque itself. While lowering cholesterol may look good on a blood test, the real key is lowering the fat in the plaque and keeping the blood thin. Still, if a good blood test is important to you, you will be happy to hear that beta-cetosterol has also been clinically shown to support the lowering of LDL cholesterol and triglycerides. Immune function is the second issue we will address in this chapter. While most people believe that a stronger immune system is a better immune system, the truth is that what we really want is a strong and balanced immune system. A person suffering from allergies has a strong but unbalanced immune system. A person suffering from an autoimmune disease also has a strong but unbalanced immune system. To understand the concept of immune balance, we will compare the immune system of a person to the internal and external security of a ritzy nightclub. In a nightclub, there are doormen and bouncers. The job of the doormen is to make sure that only the right sorts of people are allowed in. The job of the bouncers is to wander around inside the nightclub and toss out anyone that starts causing trouble. In order for the nightclub to operate successfully, there needs to be a balance between the doormen and the bouncers to keep the nightclub running smoothly. 
On the other hand, if the doormen are too aggressive and the bouncers are too passive, or vice versa, the nightclub will have problems. Let's look at the first scenario, overly aggressive doormen and passive bouncers. With overly aggressive doormen, perfectly good clients will be denied entry to the club. With passive bouncers, anyone who does get in and then causes a problem won't be removed. This type of immune imbalance is paralleled by a person with continual allergies and colds. The overly aggressive doorman reacting to clients that aren't a problem is analogous to a person allergic to things like cat hair or ragweed, things that pose no real threat to their health. The passive bouncers, letting clients get drunk and cause problems inside the nightclub, are analogous to a weak immune system, low on natural killer cells, unable to get rid of infections and cancer cells. Now, let's look at the second scenario, passive doormen and overly aggressive bouncers. With passive doormen, anyone can get into the club. With overly aggressive bouncers, peaceful and valuable clients are tossed out, and the fights between the bouncers and normal folk just there to have a nice time are always breaking out. This type of immune imbalance is paralleled by a person with an autoimmune problem. The overly aggressive bouncers fighting with peaceful patrons that aren't doing anything wrong is analogous to a person whose immune system is attacking their own body's tissues, such as rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, or MS. You can see now that before we attempt to strengthen an immune system, we should first balance it. Sometimes strengthening an immune system only makes matters worse by increasing allergic and autoimmune responses. Fortunately, beta-cetosterol has the unique ability of being able to balance the immune system, the doorman and the bouncer, so to speak. For those of you who are more scientifically minded, beta-cetosterol has an adaptogenic effect on Th1 and Th2 ratios. It is this ability of beta-cetosterol to balance the immune system that gives it the seemingly magical ability to support such a wide range of immune disorders. The last issue we will address is that of female health. Based on everything we have discussed in the first part of this presentation regarding the prostate, it may come as a surprise to learn that the ingredients in endosterol are also beneficial for supporting female health. In fact, saw palmetto has a long history of use for both men and women. It has been used as a reproductive tonic for women, increasing libido, fertility, and increasing milk flow in nursing mothers. It has also been prescribed to relieve painful periods, to regulate the menstrual cycle, and for pelvic inflammatory conditions, including salpingitis and ovarian pain. It has even been used to increase the weight of the uterus in postmenopausal women. Saw palmetto also has an affinity for the urinary system and has been taken to relieve urinary infections and fluid retention. This brings us to the end of this presentation. We started talking about a product for the prostate, continued with circulation, inflammation, and immune disorders, and ended discussing women's health. That's one of the nice things about working with natural ingredients. Instead of getting unexpected side effects, you get unexpected side benefits. You start working on helping one problem and you end up helping lots of problems that you didn't even know were related. I hope this information has been helpful to you. If you have any questions about how endosterol can support your health, contact the health